rejoice tonight father for you are with us you are Emmanuel we thank you for your presence here tonight and for giving us the opportunity to come here to worship you we thank you for a chance to be able to sing songs and hear songs sung that tell us the good news of Jesus birth we thank you so much that you loved us enough that you gave us your son and Lord we will forever be in debt to you for that I pray in response, we will give you our love, we will give you our best, that tonight we'll give you our worship. Thank you for each person who participates tonight. I thank you for all the work that has gone into this program. And I ask, Lord, that you would bless it so that we might be brought closer to you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We do want to welcome you tonight. We also welcome those who are watching us by television this evening. It's a wonderful chance for us to come together to enjoy an evening of carols and choirs. Uh, so many different groups uh, have, have been working hard to get ready for this. We have young and not so young participating tonight. And we do appreciate each person. We appreciate your presence. Thank you for coming tonight. I'm going to turn the service over to Beth and let her lead us from here. Join us in carol number 107. We'll sing a European carol for children. Oh, come little children. Will you stand for this carol, please?
come to our world, God, will you come with hope? For we have too many good intentions, not enough hopes realized, too many questions, too little assurance, too many longings, too little prayers. O come, O come, Emmanuel, when you come, bring hope. Will you come to our world, God? Will you come with peace? For we have too much brokenness, not enough wholeness, too much frantic activity, not enough calm, too many worries, not enough dreams. O come, O come, Emmanuel, when you come, bring peace. Will you come to our world, God? Will you come with joy? For we have too much seriousness, not enough laughter, too many expectations, not enough celebration, too many words, too little singing. O come, O come, Emmanuel, when you come, bring joy. Will you come to our world, God? Will you come with love? For we have too much loneliness, not enough friendship, too many rules, not enough gospel, too much getting, not enough caring. O come, O come, Emmanuel, when you come, bring love. Come, bringer of hope. Come, bringer of peace. Come, giver of joy. Come, lover of all people. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Hope you'll notice tonight we are singing and playing songs that are hundreds of years old up to songs that were written this year. So it's a lot of variety. You'll learn a lot of different things, but they're all telling the same story. And we're going to sing about that story, hymn number 106, Infant Holy, Infant Lowly.
Comfort my people. Encourage the people of Jerusalem and tell them that they have suffered long enough and that their sins are forgiven. A voice cries out. Prepare in the desert a way for the Lord. Clear the road for our God. Fill every valley, smooth every mountain. The hills will be flat, the rough places plain. The glory of God will be shown. Before long, I will shake heaven and earth, land and sea. I will overthrow all the nations, so that the temple will be filled with their treasures. The, the Lord you are looking for will suddenly come to his temple. The messenger of, prom, of God's promises will come to bring you joy. Who can, endure, who can endure his coming? He is like a blazing fire, refining precious metal. He is like strong soap, cleaning dirty garments. And he will purify the children of Levi, so they may offer an acceptable offering. The Lord will give you a sign. A young woman will have a son and call him Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God with us, God with us, God with us. <coughs> Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us.
will be covered with darkness. But on you the light of the Lord will shine. The brightness of his presence will be with you. Nations will be drawn to your light, and kings to the dawning of your new day. The people that lived in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in the land of shadows, but now light is shining on them.
hiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And to prove to the shepherds that this was the truth, the angel told them they'd find a baby wrapped in cloths lying in a manger. Rejoice, people of Zion. Shout for joy, you people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. Your king will make peace among the nations.
and those who cannot speak will shout for joy. God said, Soon I will shake heaven and earth, land and sea. I will overthrow all the nations. The messenger of God's promises will come to bring you joy. Look, your king is coming to you. Your king will make peace among the nations. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, so that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, He is the King of glory.
Closing hymn tonight is hymn number 121, Thou didst leave thy throne. Would you stand and sing with us?
You may be seated. Wow, what a wonderful evening it has been, and I certainly appreciate all the folks who have helped make it possible. I know that each of the choirs have put in a lot of time. The handbells have, have kind of been working overtime here lately. We appreciate so much uh, their participation tonight. The youth ensemble was wonderful. We appreciate them coming week after week and practicing. And, and children, you did an awesome job, too. I remember when I heard a few months ago that y'all were going to do Handel's Messiah. I said, no way, but you all did it. And I am so proud of you and so pleased. <laughs> We certainly appreciate Beth's leadership. God was very, very good to us a few months ago when uh, he led Beth and the rest of the Parker family to us. And if we didn't have Beth, we wouldn't have John to move all the stands around. So we really appreciate John's effort as well. And John, you, you want to introduce these folks over here on the piano for us tonight? I'm really happy to have my parents here with us tonight. Wyatt Parker and Cosette Parker and Wyatt was playing the piano. And uh, he, he's been my dad all my life. So... <laughs> You know, I just sort of feel comfortable with him over there. But uh, Beth uh, invited him to come up and play for us tonight, and it was a good excuse to get him to come up and be part of our church family. And tonight we also have Beth's parents, uh, Sarah and Herbert Cox. They're right back here on the left, and uh, they'll be anxious to introduce themselves to you all later on. But we're glad to have both, both sides of the family represented tonight. In just a moment, I'm going to ask uh, the girls over here, uh, um, Ellen and Sarah, to get our birthday cake and uh, to light it. And we're going to sing happy birthday to Jesus. But we're going to, I'm going to do something else before we do that. Uh, one of the things that has impressed me so much over the years about this church is how giving they are. And they just keep looking for ways to be giving. Uh, we have a service and ministry committee. And um, we do projects every year, and we encourage the church to get involved in those projects. And uh, a month or two ago, we got together and discovered that we're towards the end of the year, and we still had a good bit of our budget left and, and felt like we need to do something with that money. And so the, the committee decided to, to purchase some items for some needy children in our community. We contacted the resource centers and the schools here in Middlesbrough and in Pineville, and, and uh, we asked them if they could give us some um, names of some people who really needed help. And so back around Thanksgiving, we had a chance to, to purchase some, some gifts, some clothes, some items to, to give to some of these needy children. And I want to read to you a letter that we have already received from one of the families. I won't tell you the name, but uh, and I'll skip the first part so you won't know who it is. But this is a mother writing to tell us the story of, of the gift. She says, my daughter is six years old and is a first grader. The Family Resource Center at the school called my home on November 30th and said they had something for her that I needed to pick up. Boy, was she richly blessed. When she got home and, and saw all she had, she just sat down and cried, and I did too. So I knew that I had to sit down and write you a letter thanking you so much for this gift of love. I don't know who you are, but God does, and he is going to richly bless you for my baby. I'm a single mother of three children. My daughter wrote a letter to Santa telling him what she wanted for Christmas. And when she did, she asked him for a few things, and then... She wrote and said, but most of all, Santa, I want you to give my mommy something special because she has been so sick this year and had to take time off of work to get better. When I read her letter to Santa, I just sat and cried for hours. My baby wants mommy to have something, but I already do, and that's my three precious children. I wanted to write you and say thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for the gift you gave my little angel. May God richly bless you for your gift. I pray that whoever you are, that you have the best Christmas ever and a wonderful new year. Please remember, God gives us strength and guides us in the way he wants us to go and that he keeps us in our times of trouble and heartaches too. God bless you. That's what it's all about. And tonight you have a chance to be a part of this type of ministry as you bring your gifts in just a moment. Before we bring your gifts, we're going to ask Sarah and Liz, Elizabeth, Sarah and Ellen at this time to, to light the, the candles and, and to get nowhere near me. I spilled gas on me coming tonight to church. And so I'm going to ask you all to stay over there.
And let me ask each of you to stand up. Let's sing happy birthday to Jesus. <laughs> Just a few moments. <laughs> Good job. In just a few moments, we'll be going downstairs, aren't we? To Fellowship Hall. Uh, we have cake, ice cream, and some goodies for you. Uh, Herman, I forgot to ask you, can you play something uh, while the people bring their gifts? We're going to ask everyone to bring their gifts. and to, You can just put the cake down here so you don't have to hold it, Ellen. If, uh, if you'll just play anything, uh, we'll ask everyone to bring their gifts and put them here in the front, and then we'll have a benediction in just a moment. much for bringing your gifts tonight. If by some chance you maybe forgot yours or say, hey, I didn't realize I, I could do that, uh, if you'll get them to us tomorrow, I think there's still plenty of time for us to get them to, to CCM. They'll be distributing these toys to needy children in our community here in the, the next few days. Thank you so much for coming this evening. I hope that you can leave saying it's been good to be in the house of the Lord. And we do again encourage you to come downstairs with us now for a time of fellowship. Let's pray. Father, thank you for a wonderful service tonight. Uh, we have sensed your presence. We have heard the good news of your love once again and, and song. And we thank you so much for, for this special time together. Again, I give thanks for everybody that was involved. I thank you for each person who's come. I thank you for the, the toys that were given tonight. And we, bless the, we pray that you would bless the children who will receive them. Bless us now as we go downstairs for a time of fellowship. We thank you for those who have prepared our meal for us. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.